George, the, 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 the thunderstorm just won't stop. Ugh, it's Great. relentless. Yeah, we might be able to try and sleep it off. Oh wow, lightning just struck. Josh! Do you, I see! We might have a problem here. And a problem we sure had. I, I, I grabbed Josh's attention and we looked out over the bay and saw a ship. And, a, and what looked to be a campfire. Could this be it? Could this be the intruders coming to take back their land? We had to investigate. Oh, I see them. They're, um, I mean... They're very. Yeah, they are very furry. Hmm, now they did have very thick fur. Very out of place. I don't think that they were suited to the jungle environment, so they didn't come from around here. With spears at hand for intimidation, we... Made our way towards the boat, being careful as to not startle these beasts. I talked to this, I talked to Col, Col, what's it, Colstrom Yanko? And, and who's the t t Temperance Jacob, Jacob's Meyer, the Mason. Lads, what, what, hap what happened here? Hello? So it appeared that they didn't speak our language, but we could clearly see that they needed help. They had a tent set up to take refuge from the rain that had inevitably just passed, but they had a clear sign of distress on their face. Josh and I agreed that we would extend an olive branch to see what these people would do when shown some love. I made sure I grabbed three things, some food, some proof of our civilization, and some proof of income. Now, I headed back to the boat and offered them the food. They didn't seem to take it, and I was a little bit offended. That's okay, I, I thought maybe rotting flesh wasn't part of their palate. I showed them an egg. We have, we have civilization, we have eggs. Wow, you just... Just threw that as hard as you could at the floor. But I also have this. Oh. He came out of the boat. He wants the money. Colstrom, you. Co oh. We want to know if you. Excuse me, sir. Would you like. Are you interested? So, Ch Josh, what do, you, what do you think about um, Temperance and his crew? Well, they look brutal, but they seem alright. They seem like. Their, uh, their bark is worse than their bite. Mm, you know what? I would, I would agree. They didn't really actually show us any sign of danger. And actually, they didn't say a word. I don't know what Josh is actually thinking. I don't know who he thought he was talking to. And that's when it hit me. The smell. I don't know what it was, but it was destroying my insides. Um, Parrot? the salmon. I think it's the salmon. I can smell the salmon. Oh, the salmon. Oh, yeah. We didn't really prepare that at all. We just sort of nailed it to a plank and put it up there. Uh, actually, let me just crack a window. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so, so Temperance and his gang of misfits. Do you know how hard it was to get a piece of cloth in that shape, in that shade of green? Ah! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Josh, well, we might have lost some left over in our stock, okay? What is this? That's a, uh, that's a perfectly shaped Counterfeit oh. is what it is. After I escaped the onslaught of eggs that Josh was throwing at me, we decided to sit down and have a bit of chicken for dinner and discuss furthermore what to do with Temperance and his gang. We discussed possible opportunities of, of working together in a, in a little bit of a symbiotic relationship, perhaps. So we might be able to offer them safety and protection in, you know, maybe they can help us build, build a wall around the place. Uh, they might be able to help us with some resource gathering, some, some food, maybe some fish. Oh, oh. careful now. Yeah, we could always use more hands around the place. Of course we can. I think um, I think come morning we'll we'll come by and we'll 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 offer them sanctuary. You know, we'll help them build a house. Um, in return for, you know, maybe they can do a bit of farming around the place, a bit of fishing, and and just sort of keep the place tidy and keep it running. You know, while we're out expanding. I think this is the first step to a. And so it was. History was made that day, and our town will never be the same again. With our fairy friends now moved in, we helped them build a house, as well as a farming field. We were able to reach common ground. For us, providing them safety, they would help us survive. One of them was a fisher, one of them was a fisherman, <laughs> one of them was a farmer, and the other a mason. We took a grander view of things to look back on the week's work that we did. Alright, what, uh, what, a, what a large week's worth. Oh god, oh god, oh! No! Ah, Josh, help me! Oh. <laughs> I gotta say, <laughs> that caught me off guard a little. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, I yeah. room to like finish you up as well. <laughs> well, what I was trying to say <coughs> after a good week's work, <laughs> finally we have oh, the uh, we have wow. the, the jungle men have moved in with us. 
Mm, before the night was over, however, Josh and I decided to go see what the daily catches were at the fishing hut. Fisherman Joe, as we dubbed him, was there, and we wanted to see what we could have as a late night snack as we were kind of peckish. It was also our first time seeing the fishing hut and dock since it was under construction. It was the jungle outpost. So I guess that's what that's what they've dubbed this place for their people, I guess, the jungle outpost. Is Fisherman Joe even here? Hello. He okay, good. Did you just walk into his bedroom? No! It's, hang on, what's the time? It is like... Oh, it is almost midnight. Yeah. What's that, maybe 10 p.m.? Alright, let's camp out and <laughs> wait for him to... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I might just go room with Joe. Well, it would appear that I didn't bring my sleeping bag with me, and so me and Josh couldn't set foot and just sleep out the front. We had to go inside. I, I, I had to sleep in a bed. I, I, I couldn't go back to my old ways. Oh, sorry, Joe. Just come back to bed, buddy. <laughs> Good morning, Joe! Oh, I'm sorry, your name's not actually Joe. Gray. That's right, Gray actually told us his name. And he, he he pretty much told us to get out as he went straight to the bathroom. Sorry, he's gone for his morning. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, sorry, okay. Yeah, he's a bit shy. Well, you know who isn't shy? Josh. He he, he sort of went straight in and, and didn't even close the hatches properly. He, he was staring at me, actually, the whole time. And, ugh. Uh, make sure you flush. It would appear Josh slipped, sliding straight through his feces into the horrors beneath the ice, wanting to tear him apart. While Josh caught up, Gary, uh, Gar Grant, Grant, Gray, Gray, Gray was showing us where he worked and gave us some fish for our cuddles. Hey, how secure this is. Yeah. Yeah, we've got our watchtowers. Yeah, look at that. Thick wall. Nothing's getting through this. Hey, let's 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 enjoy the outdoors today. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my sister collected him. Oh, look at this. Actually, look, I've got some, uh, some deck wow, chairs. Wow, from? Just full deck chairs. Uh, I yeah, learnt, fold. Learnt a few. Yeah, they fold. And so it was. Our two little jungle men now had a small thriving town. Who knows what will await them in the future, but for now, they're enjoying their salmon lunch. After all, they've earned it. And it may very well be the last lunch that they have here for quite some time. Stay tuned.